And Matt, that's not a stapler, right? It's not a stapler. It's not supposed to do that. <laughs> that is a four hundred dollar, the three sixty camera that went in, hit the wall. It was on a tripod and just snapped and it popped the lid and everything off and things pull apart and I don't know. It's a little sickening to the stomach. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't pay for it, but still, it was a paid for by a grant at the school. So hopefully, I can. And I literally took this out of the box today. So nice. Wow. That's how that goes. So it's one of those things where uh, when I'm doing a walkthrough, I'll show you exactly what happened. <laughs> now, now this walkthrough you're doing, this is this new, what's that called? Uh, Matt Matterport. Matterport. Yeah. So I don't know if people, people listening at home, checking this out for the first time, we're, we're really excited about this Matterport and uh, BoomQuest is going to do a nice tour. You'll kind of get the idea. You don't have to have a, uh, a 360 camera, although it helps. Yeah, you you can you can do it with a uh, cell phone or not an iPhone. I, I think it's the only thing you do it right now. So, all right. So I got the main part of the house. This is what the kids have been building this year. Um, it's a little. It looks very much like a job site because of um, you know working in it and everything, and not having a crew of thirty to help me clean up everything. But um, so here, I just brought in this trim. So here's here's the main kitchen. This is the kitchen living room area that trims over here in the living room area. Dining room area will be over here where uh, that scaffold is. Uh, we got the island, kitchen, cabinets, all that stuff. Um, we can kind of zoom around here. Wow, you've come a long way. I mean, I, this is not what I pictured. I was thinking about I would see the sticks and like you could see the through the house. Like I didn't realize you had oh, every, yeah, insulation only and drywall all set up. Yeah, only in the uh, bathrooms and utility room, just because we were waiting on some plumb stuff. Is it? And I'll get to, I'll, I'll, I'll slide over here. And you can also see we've got our windows and stuff. And then these are the pre built casings. So all we have to do is pop them on there and tack them on, and they're they're good to go. So you pre built all them here at home in the shop. I don't know if everybody knows, let me just give you a little intro. Matt, uh, you know, Bloomquest, he's doing, they actually build a house every single year he is on site you know those little trailers where there's like a like the the office guy like he that's the classroom and then out in the field they're making a house from scratch every year so like he had a halt production but like you could social dish um so yeah if you jump in here this will be our utility room so now this is still open we got some plumbing here that goes to the master shower that goes on the other side here i yeah I, I don't know how people see this at home, but me, I'm like super impressed. This is not a video. You are using this like virtual reality, giving us a tour as if we're there. And you're really focused on, oh, like here's the details, here's the details. But me, I'm like, oh my God, you got the details. We're in, we're, we're in your house. Like this is wild. I can't believe yeah. what you're able yeah, to this, do. This program is pretty sweet. And I tell you what, that 360 camera is legit. Like, until you break it against the wall because it has there's a screw there's a there's a lens on both sides and it's like a fish eye or whatever on both sides so it catch i mean if i look up i mean i can see all the way up and if i look down i was using a tripod um so you can kind of see the handle of the tripod there but it it really captures everything it's impressive like wow and then we're, we're walking through is really you know just a matter of click and drag and then you find your little no, is is Spot. this the same software that the real estate agents are using or is this something different? Nope. This, this is, this is the same, whether they use this one or not, but it's that they could be using this one. It's, you know, um, I'm sure there's, there's a few different ones out there, but, uh, this is, this is that. And then like the cool thing is I can go and put like tags in here and measurements oh, and stuff. Right. Anybody that's all Connor talk. I wanted to do that and use that you know, as kind of a teaching tool, if, you know, obviously this would be happening while we build, but this is something I could use if this ever happens again, because who says this remote stuff isn't going to happen to us again. Um, also, you know, we could utilize it if kids aren't there or, you know, maybe your kids want to see what's going on and they, I can post it somewhere and they can just check it out. Um, you know, I bring in a lot of, we've talked about before building science into our building and stuff like air ceiling details and all this. So what we can actually do is take the videos, take the scans, and then I can link up to like, say where the, the exterior sheeting uh, is wraps over the top plate. And that's where we tape that joint for our air sealing technique. And I can actually, from like the scan, like that can 
Connor does, I could put a pin up there and they could click on that and it'd zoom in. And I think you could put videos up there to explain wow, it. So I could get so cool. So I can pull in these guys like Jake Bruton and Steve basic and all these building science guys I've been teaming up with and getting info from, and I can even have them do a little video talking about, or I'm sure they have videos somewhere of it, link it to that. And the kids can actually watch that. And now it's not just the kids watching a video I made or a YouTube video or whatever. Now it's the kids going through the vid, the, the job site, the house, you know, step by step, say framing, you know, insulating drywall, whatever. And they can walk through the house virtually and pick it out themselves. So now they're, they're, this virtual learning becomes almost job site learning, even though we're not on job site. Now, granted, with this to happen, we have to have the kids at the house to start building the next house because we're, you know, and right now I have a 90% finished house, of course. But uh, so that's, that all just kind of stacked on top of each other real quickly here in the last couple of days. So this is. I love it. I, that's so exciting. My summer goals. Let's call it that. Okay. Yeah. Let's move to uh, another person. This is really good. Thanks for doing that. Bloom quest. Yeah. That's yeah, no right. such an interesting project. It's like, you know, that topic's awesome. All right. We got the barber check in the house, house, house. So this is, this is what I've been working on over the summer is this mobile sound on. So unlike Matt, I designed this cause I didn't, uh, as we were building it. So there's a lot of de design flaws that I'm not content with. Um, but it kind of, uh, it has, that's part of the reason we went with the sauna is cause there's some forgiveness there. And my client is a guy I worked for last summer and I just kind of pitched the idea to him and he was like, Oh sweet, whatever you need. Um, very flexible with the design of it. He talked to my students a couple of times. And so it was a great, it's been a great first project experience for this type of project because, uh, you know, there's been a lot of flexibility granted. So these are just some pictures of it. Uh, and we do social distance and we're smart about it and sanitized tools and whatnot. But, um, yeah, we just continue working on it. And I've got a Matterport as well that I made of it. So this isn't as extensive as Matt's tour because it's just – but this Matterport, like, this is a great – Connor was right. This is – so I did this with my iPhone. I didn't use a 3D 360 camera, but as far as using it to uh, teach, like, I mean, somebody could do a building inspection on this right now. Um, at one point, like I was over here and I could see like where nails had been missed mm. um, through the sheeting. You know what I mean? It missed the stud. I mean, you can't see them here, but I see them in, in person, but to see them on here is like a whole new thing. And then if you use the Matterport, it took me a second to figure it out to get this like 360 view. You got to change the settings a little bit because all my views came out without the ceiling or the floor. That's just the walls at first. So this is the this is what you call the hot room, and this is like a, my sauna stove template that you're looking at on the floor here. So this is what I'm just deciding where I want the stove to be and where, where through the roof I want the stove pipe to go. And, uh, and then right here. So your door swings out. This is your changing room. Uh, you, you know, tradition has you put a window right here. You call that your candle window. Uh, and then we got some windows here. We'll cut out for natural light, both in the changing room and in the hot room. Um, so I tried to get it so that you could actually walk out and incorporate, I tried to incorporate a 300, a 360 degree picture. So you could see the outside in a similar way, but there's still a learning curve there. I'm climbing. Uh, but one thing, I'll just, this is a little off topic. I think a future theme is Matt, you and I, and anybody else who wants to get acclimated with Matterport does this to our shop. And we just do virtual shop tours one night. Yeah. Let's do a night of that. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Matt, thanks for sharing that. I mean, that's super exciting because it's almost like augmented reality. I mean, think about it, you know, yeah. their Mercedes is playing around with stuff where like the, the dealership tech 
is wearing some goggles and then there's a thing that tells you what to do and where to do it and whatnot. I mean, obviously there's some controversy there. People are like, ah, old school, you got to know how to do it. Yeah. But also let's get real. Like, you know, there's moments where, you know, if you had these augmented reality glasses on or you already went through the job site before you got there walking through a virtual room, I mean, you're going to have a serious advantage because in person on site doing anything should be the, is the most expensive use of time. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the shop class podcast, uh, video clips. Uh, this one was about Matterport. Stay tuned for clip number two uh, next week about the Matterport from Connor Malloy. Uh, he did a really good job, and he's actually the one that got us started doing Matterport. So stay tuned for next week. Thanks a lot. Bye. But, you know, you can walk through this. Oh, uh, no way you can just walk through? Yeah, whilst being – this is in full beta, so. so we, That's so really cool. Is,